everyone. Today I'm going to be making some type of heart incorporated soap. As you can see, I've got these little molds right here that uh, will help me to make the hearts. They're actually going to be in beds that I'm going to put inside the soap. Um, when I bought this one, I actually didn't know. I don't know if you can tell, but they've got like the heart words on it, very similar to the heart candies on Valentine's Day, which Valentine's Day is actually what inspired this soap, but then I got the fragrance oil for it and I decided that I'm probably just gonna let this soap live year round because I love it so much. It's based off of uh, Victoria's Secret's Love Spell. It is so amazingly good. Oh my gosh, it smells exactly like the perfume. And like, I've loved that perfume since I was like 10. So what I'm gonna be doing is making the embeds. I have four ounces of goat's milk and four ounces of, um, clear glycerin. The clear glycerin is going to make pure red hearts, which I'm going to put in here. And then I'm going to use the goat's milk to make more pinky pastel colored hearts that are going to be the smaller ones. My goal is to put them in all clear glycerin, but is to have the hearts, you know, in the soap facing up. So this way they aren't like laid down and I don't, you know, cut through the heart. And so they're up and down so you can see them as you're holding the bar. If that's going to happen, I don't know. So I'm just going to start with melting everything down, uh, starting with these two because these have to be made first so they can sit while this is melting down and so they can harden. And I'm going to go from there with the coloring and stuff. So first thing is of course as always putting on my gloves. I can't figure out which hand is supposed to go where but they could go in either because I'm a genius. Come on. There we go. Alright so. I feel like the red hearts are gonna take the longest. So I'm gonna, and they're not gonna be red red, as you can tell from my micas, whoop, as I just completely throw one. This one is gonna be the goat's milk color, so it's gonna make it that pastel -y pink. This one is more of like a purpley, sensual color with hints. I might throw like a little bit of red in there. I have a uh, straight, like strictly red mica that I might put in there, so I don't know, but. We'll see how I feel once I mix it in there. Okay, so we have the glycerin all melted down. So now I have to open my mica. And where is my, there it is. My little shot glass that I put my mica into. Woo! generally like to buy the tubs, but they were having a sale on the pouches, so that's what I went with. And I just use, this is a half teaspoon. I'm not going to use a half teaspoon of mica. You know, so quarter teaspoon. I just grabbed the first thing. I'm going to zip this back up before it explodes everywhere. Oh, wow, this is hard to... That seems like it's shut, so we're just gonna, okay, you just, whatever. Lay there, stay there, I don't, I don't care. Okay. Now I'm gonna, uh, mm. probably should have put the alcohol in there first because I'm a genius. So I'm actually just gonna take some of my rubbing alcohol and put it in there. It's a very pretty, it's like, the name of it is red violet, but I don't, it's more like a pearlescent pink with a uh, like red undertone to it. It's very interesting. So I'm just gonna it in, scoop it in. And then I'm gonna grab this rubbing alcohol. Spray it in there to get everything out. Apparently doesn't want to do. One 
more time. That's all I'm gonna give it. All right. And it stirs in so easy when you use that rubbing alcohol. Some people use oils. Um, if I've seen people who make cold process use water. Um, so it's kind of all part of all part of what you want. I think I am going to add a little bit of the other mica. See, it's much more of a, it's got more of a red undertone, or undertone, overtone. Since I've already got that, I don't want to, I'm just going to. I didn't put that much in there. Okay, so see this one has more of a red to it. I might end up adding more, I'm not sure. playing things by ear. I don't know why I was going for the rubbing alcohol. Okay. Now that is definitely got more red to it. But it's still very pink, which I'm fine with. I don't mind pink. Pink's actually like magenta pink, not baby pink, is one of my favorite colors. And I know there's not a lot of this, but I like making sure that the scent runs all the way through the soap. So, ooh, that's an interesting color. I'm just gonna do one and a half. And I'm going to do the same amount when I mix the goat's milk together. And now I'm going to pour into my mold. Now I measured earlier the amount that these should each hold, so I don't know if I'm going to fill them all because it was very hard to do. It's very hard to do with water. So I'm just hoping that I have enough to get, you know, the majority. I'm only doing one round of each. gonna take this entire thing and carefully put it off to the side. So I'm not actually going to worry about going in and topping any of these off. I know I still have some left. This is just, I'm going to let it dry and pull it out. And I have a spare little container that I do that I put with all my leftovers in because I don't, they're already starting to harden. So like here you can see like textures on the back already. Um, 
and I want to avoid that as much as possible. I don't know that soap's gonna do much, or soap. Rubbing alcohol is gonna do much considering they have already started to dry because they're so small. Dry, harden, because they're so small. Unlike the other ones, which is why I did the other ones first. So we're just gonna also put these off to the side. Now I will say I am pleasantly surprised because it does appear to be drying more of that, you know, bubblegum pink color that I wanted. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, it smells good. All right, so this has been going for quite some time and it's still not melted and I don't want it to be really, really hot or else I'd have to wait for it to cool down and then risk just a whole bunch of issues because I don't want it to be so hot that when I put the embeds in, they melt which is why I actually have them in the fridge at the moment because they hardened, but I want them to be like very not going to melt. I'm just gonna stir this for a while and see if I can maybe get this, this, this smaller. I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and put the fragrance oil in here. This way I don't have to waste time once it's all melted probably gonna turn this like not clear whatsoever which is funny because the soap that I use is supposed to be high clarity vanilla stable so okay well that's not too bad so what I think I'm gonna end up having to do is like setting down a thin layer putting some embeds in, filling up more, letting it set, putting some embeds in, and I'm hoping that that doesn't create a layers effect with the clear. It might, I hope not, because that would just make it not look as pretty, but it would still smell good. So what I'm hoping is that if they fall on their sides, I can use a little, little shish kebab to like move them around inside the soap so first I'm gonna try not to spray myself in the face this time and I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there it is. I'm gonna let it cool just just a little bit. My rubbing alcohol just went broke. Guys, aren't these just the cutest? They turned out like the perfect color. They're not as like bright as I wanted them to be, but they're still like that perfect shade of pink and I dig it so much. And then over here, so you can get a good look at these. You can't really like see the words too defined, which I'm is fine by me because I actually I did originally didn't want them, but you get what you get. It cooled off decently, so it doesn't move much. So, but I'm hoping. I'm gonna as I drop it because now it's slippery. Thank goodness I always clean my counter and workspace. Now I'm gonna try. Get rid of those bubbles. Now I'm gonna try throwing one of these in there. Okay, so it's still gonna slide down. Nope. Just stay up straight. But you know, it's it is what it is. So far it's turning out better than I thought it would because I thought I was going to have to like lay them down flat like that. Cool, 
Oh, cool. I'm gonna let this set for a little bit. Just in case. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pour another layer. Get all the film as much out of the way as possible. I'm gonna make this layer quite a bit thicker just so this way I have a little bit more space to play with when it comes to the bigger ones. I think I'm running into the issue to where this is getting too cool. And so when it gets in here, it's cooling even faster. We shall prevail by just dropping them in apparently. Yeah, I'm really worried about what this is gonna do to the layer look thing that I don't want to happen. So we'll see. So I melted down another four ounces because there are some sticking out of the top and normally I wouldn't care but there are just some things that they just it just doesn't look good. So I'm hoping this four ounces will be enough to cover. If not, I'll have to melt down some more, add in a little bit more fragrance oil and just rinse and repeat until everything is good. Oh, it's a little warm. I mean, Some are already melted, so. What more damage could I do? That's a horrible thing to ask. Okay, so that I'm fine with. Before there were like parts of the hearts that were sticking out that didn't have um, like glycerin completely on top of them and so it like had like weird lumps and to me it looks good. I can tell there's going to be like uneven spots but practice makes perfect and you know this is my first time doing this soap so I'll get there I mean I'm not gonna stop using that fragrance oil because oh my gosh it just smells so good like, I can't even describe what kind of scent it is it's just wonderful so I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna let it set um, ooh, that container is warm I'm gonna let it sit overnight We'll be back tomorrow to cut it. All right, so we are back and it has been a little bit more than a day because uh, life happens. And during that time, we did get a little bit of sweat or glycerin dew or whatever people like to call it. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't affect how the soap works. It's just the soap drawing in moisture from the air. And I live in Florida, so there's a lot of it. And now I'm gonna take it out and it'll only be on the top that there is that dew so I'm gonna end up moving that later oh it smells so good every time you unwrap the soap you can just it just like hits you in the face now are the layers visible a little bit but not really oh they're more on this side that you can see them but it actually is kind of cool because well that's gonna have to get taken care of but you can see there are little lines, but on this end, it looks more like um, just bubbles in there with the hearts. So it actually 
doesn't look that bad. I mean, it, you can see the layers. Layers are a thing that happens. Um, most of the soaps don't look like they melted too much. A couple of them did, but they didn't like melt, melt. They just have like little glycerin veins that came out, which is fine by me. It's just makes it a little bit more artistic. All right. Let's take a look at this end piece. Oh my God, that's adorable. Look at it. This one only has two hearts in it. Each bar of soap will probably be completely different from each other, but oh, it smells so good. Let's see, this one's got a bigger one in it. Ooh. See, as you can see, like it kind of like shows where it melted. It looks kind of hazy on those bigger ones. Whereas on the littler ones, I guess, these little ones, oh, you can kind of see it right in there, the little like just veins, but it's not that big of a deal and it smells good. So that's what matters. So as you can tell, every piece is completely different, which is really cool and I'm 100% fine with. Some of them, I guess because the pieces weren't straight in the mold, which, you know, as I said, this one wasn't going to be perfect. It was the first time that I tried doing it. I'm very impressed with how it turned out, considering I've never done anything like this before. Now I know, you know, to make sure that the clear base is a little bit cooler, so this way those hearts don't haze themselves out but and this top layer it looks like it didn't completely meld together on that first uh on that top layer that I put in but I mean they're still hooked on there so they're not coming off it just doesn't look like it completely bonded with the other layers which is fine you know that just means that it needs a little bit more attention paid to it next time and I gotta you know make sure that I'm on top of my stuff so these are the Love Spell Scented Melted Heart Soaps. I think they're super cute. 